dear brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Eucharist this Thursday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of Catherine and Tristar Soto, John Carlo Tubig, Lito and Lori Zapanta, Marlon Joyce and Ira Takdod. For the birthday thanksgiving of Rick Miranda, Marlon M. Sangalang, Irene M. Turla, Trish B. Domingo, Marvin Santos. For the special intentions of Christine and William Sotelo, Jason Calipes, Abigail Rain and Augusto Mamamon, Mark Homer Munoz, Herminio Lynette Nukum and family, Eleanor Ventura, Hermie Robes, Arman and Mariette Nam, Rosana Reyes, Jimmy and Inday Santo Domingo, Patrick and Sara Gokuinko. For healing, speed recovery, and good health of Manolita Pasion, Elizabeth Tanueco, Henry Sui, Henry O. Coronel, Oria Yuna Soto, Juan Third Soto, Susan Sotelo and family, Ronald Salabante, Teresa Kaluag, Aurora Beltran, Cherry Amor E. Esguera, Enya George, Katrina Camille Gozen, Anthony Chase Coco Gozen, Remedio C. Paras, Rolinda Villanda Viray, Lamberto Panlaki, Alejandria Buenabajo, Pat Ahos, Rosalita B. Torres, Angelito Miguel, Divina Gracia Carbunco, Edel Umlas, Elor Bitug, Gloria Panlilio, Ernesto Dizon, and those whom we pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Eduardo Carey Galang Sr. for his death anniversary, Donna Guanzon, George Montes Sr., Angelina Dizon Parungao, Virginio Boy Dacis, Jose Bitwin, Gloria Sotelo, Carlos Pinpin, Salvina Enriquez, Soledad and Jose Go, Maria Jesus Reyes, Angel Carido, Democrito Ison, Martin Angeles, Vis Visitacion J. Malgapu, Joel G. Clemente, Rita Kalilong Hurtado, Rico S. Kalilong, Henemino and Asuncion Umlas, Faustina Santa Maria Jr., Luciana S. Olalia, Elena Parico, Vicente and Ellen Tantamco, Alex Resurrection, Tony Wu, Alejandro and Milagros Resurrection, Maria Teresa Morales, Magno and Francisca Hippolito, and all poor souls in purgatory. Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing our entrance hymn.
Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all we need. Here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening po. Good evening po, Father. Let us celebrate this Mass with the prayers of our church and our personal intention. We also pray for peace in our world. The violence in Israel and Gaza, in Ukraine and Russia, and in our place. We pray that the Lord will always embrace us with protection, especially to the innocent and the civilians. For the times that we have sinned, for the times we easily give up, when we are discouraged, we want to resign. Let the Lord be upon us, that we may not always give up, but we continue to seek, we continue to ask, and we continue to knock. And for the sins we have committed, we ask the Lord to forgive us. Together we pray, I, I confess. confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please remember your intention. Call to mind your petition in our Mass. May your grace, O Lord, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in communion of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. You have defied me in word, says the Lord. Yet you ask, what have we spoken against you? You have said, it is vain to serve God. And what do we profit by keeping his command? And going about in penitential dress, in awe of the Lord of hosts? Rather must we call the proud blessed, for indeed evil doers prosper, and even tempt God with impunity. Then they who fear the Lord spoke with one another, and the Lord listened attentively. And a record book was written before him of those who fear the Lord and trust in his name. And they shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, my own special possession on the day I take action. And I will have compassion on them, as a man has compassion on his son who serves him. Then you will again see the distinction between the just and the wicked, between him who serves God and him who does not serve him. For lo, the day is coming, blazing like an oven, when all the proud and all evildoers will be stubble, and the day that is coming will set them on fire, leaving them neither root nor branch, says the Lord of hosts. But for you who fear my name, 
there will arise the son of justice with the healing race. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Happy the man who follows not counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the ways of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delight is in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Please all rise in honor of the Holy Gospel. So, Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, we can mo The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If one of you knows someone who comes to him in the middle of the night and says to him, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. For a friend of mine has come from a journey and I have nothing to offer him. For he inside should reply, Leave me alone. The door is shut down now and my children and I are in bed. I can't get up and look after your needs. I tell you, even though he does not get up and take care of the man because of friendship, he will find himself doing so because of the persistence and give him as much as he needs. So I say to you, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. For whoever asks, receives. Whoever seeks, finds. Whoever knocks, is admitted. What father among you will give his son a snake if he asks for a fish? Or hand him a scorpion if he asks for an egg? If you with all your sins know how to give your child good things, how much will your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Persistence. Persistence. And uh, our gospel today says, I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of 
Persistence. Persistence sa Tagalog po, tiyaga. Pagpupursigi. Pwede yung pagtitiis sa kahirapan. O siguro pwede nating sabihin ng persistence, yung hindi ka sumusuko. You don't easily give up. Nothing in this world can take place, can take the place of persistence. Persistence means not giving up. Even when you, there are things are, that are tough and others tell you to quit. Walang mangyayari dyan. Sumuko ka na. Hindi mo kaya yan. Ay mo yan. It's a vital ingredient to achieving success. Persistence actually is key to success. Pero kailangan meron tayong puhunan. Ano yung puhunan natin? Kailangan natin kumatok. Kailangan natin magtanong o magpatulong to ask. Humingi. Or kailangan din natin na to be able to, to seek, maghanap. If we look into our reflection further, paano kaya nagkakaroon ng milagro? How do miracles happen? Hindi naman po magic. Yung parang walang tinapay, biglang nagkatinapay. Walang alak, biglang nagkaalak. Walang pagkain, biglang nagkapagkain. It has to start somewhere. Halimbawa, naisip ko lang, paano yung milagro ng uh, miracle in the wedding at Cana? Walang alak. Bigla bang nag-magic si Jesus? Biglang may alak? Hindi. Yung alak, nagumpisa muna sa tubig. Humigib sila ng tubig, fill the, water, the, the jars with water. And they fill them to the brim. And from that effort, wine came out. Ganyan din po yung when he fed the 5,000. Nung pinakain niya yung limang libo, miracle din po yun. Paano yung napakain yung limang libo? Magic? Walang tinapay? Walang isda? Nagkaroon ng makakain? Hindi po ganun eh. It took five loaves and two fish from a young boy and from there they started. Kailangan may nag-umpisa. You should give or share the effort where miracles happen. Kaya pwede siguro ating, uh, ang ating milagro na inahanap, kailangan nakanda tayong maghanap para natin makikita ang inahanap natin. Kailangan natin ng kumatok, hindi sumuko kagad para mabuksan ang oportunidad. Kailangan natin humingi, magpatulong para tayo matulungan. Kailangan, meron muna tayong isasan lang. Grasyo. Matagal na po ito. May kaibigan ako, nagpapatulong sa akin many years ago. It so happened, yung sa TESDA, alam niyo po yung TESDA? Yung regional director ng TESDA, kaklasiko po. Nasain siya sa San Fernando, yung sa regional office. Eh, tabi lang office namin, sako. So, si Conrad. Conrad po yung pangalan ng kaklasiko. And then, uh, nakwento ko dun sa isang kaklasiko na nag abroad Kailangan niya ng test the certification. Sabi niya, Father, pwede mo kong pagingi ng recommendation at certification sa TESDA. O sige, sabi ko, kaklasiko naman yun. Walang problema. Tapos sabi ko sa kanya, dun sa naghingi ng certification, jack recommendation from TESDA, kailangan niya tayo yun bago ka makapag-abroad o FW for certain skill. Ngay sabi ko, nag-apply ka na ba ng seminar doon sa TESDA? Hindi pa eh, sabi ko. Hindi ka pa nag-apply? Nag-seminar ka na ba? Ah, hindi rin eh. Sumulat ka na ba? Hindi rin eh. O, pumunta ka muna doon, sabi ko. You have to ask, you have to seek, you have to knock. Maybe later on, I will make a follow-up. Kailangan yung grasya, we, we extract the effort in the grace that we will be receiving the miracle. Hindi po pwedeng instant. When you don't quit, 
you stand strong against the pressure when you keep on going with the unwavering determination even it gets tough to work long and hard enough as a mission then i think success will happen persistence is closely tied to motivation and one's mental attitude dapat pag nag-aaral ka malayo yung inisip mo halimbawa nag-aaral kayo inisip nyo yung graduation nyo miko miko nag-aaral kayo no dapat yung isip mo nasa graduation huwag mong isipin yung kaklase mong masama yung ugali huwag mong isipin yung teacher mong mahirap magturo o kung minsan pinapahiya kayo huwag kang magpasira ng loob doon tiyaga persistence kasi ang yung naiisip darating ang panahon gagraduate din ako makakatulong ako sa mga kapatid ko at sa pamilya and this is what we need today persistence is closely tied to motivation sabi nga that mental attitude that is long term after many years as a teacher I've observed bilang teacher teacher din po ako eh, the students success isn't solely dependent on their IQ ah, kaya gumraduate yan matas yung IQ or high grades hindi man eh it also involves having determination or isn't grit or resilience that tackle the ob obstacle they meet every day after many years of education kung misan yung mga gumagraduate hindi man yung pinakamagaling lang o yung may pambayad ng tuition pay yung mga batang gustong gusto nilang matapos alam niyo po kaibigan ko yung presidente ng ano yung isang college dito sasabihin ko na no yung uh, city college of angeles si kong frankie villanueva si kong frankie nakakilala ko po kasi yung tatay niya si tatang frank villanueva sa karisma tiga nakilala ko rin ka and we sometimes usually have lunch together sabi niya sa akin kasi nung na-assign siya bilang presidente ng ng uh, cca it's like a public college school naglalagay sila ng evening classes yung evening classes po yun po yung mga working students yung umaga waiter tapos gabi sudyante yung umaga tatrabaho sa palengke tapos hapon gabi meron silang ng subject yung umaga tatrabaho sa tindahan tapos gabi nag-aaral nag So, alam mo, Father, pinagmamalaki ko yung mga sudyante ko na graduate sa iwang ganyan. Ang tawag ko sa kanila, they are diamonds in the rough. Alam mo yung diamond, yung nasa bato pa? Hindi mo pa napapansin, pero diamond. Yung diamond, yung mahal siya. Kaya lang, nasa mahirap na kalagayan pa eh. Uh, medyo nagtitinda pa siya, janitor pa siya, uh, nahihirapan pa yung pamilya nila. Pero they are diamond in the rough. Bakit? Ang mga batang yan, pag gumraduate, yan ang matyaga. Ang mga batang yan, yan yung mga masipag. Hindi ka agad sumusuko. Malakas ang loob. May mission sa buhay para sa pamilya nila more than themselves. O mga kapatid nila, nangangailangan din ng tulog. Kasi kung misan yung mga batang galing sa mga sosyal na skwelahan, kung misan mahina ang loob niya, kagad silang sumusuko. Kasi sabi siguro, ba't naman ako mag magtsatsaga? Total naman, kaya naman ang magulang ko. Or maybe they feel entitled. Ayaw nila yung napapagalitan o nahihirapan. They easily give up. Persistence, kailangan natin dito. Molly, kailangan natin persistence. No? Kailangan din natin. Tyrell, na? persistence. Hindi yung magaling lang tayo. Kailangan, di tayo kagad sumusuko. Kasi kung misan magagaling, kagad din na-disappoint. Pag di nila nakuha yung gusto nila. Setbacks and failures can be seen only as stepping stones along the path of preaching one's goals. Kahit nagkamali ka, use it. Not as an end, but a stepping stone towards the next learning, maturity, that you can become better afterwards. There are no mistakes, only lessons learned. Persistence is defined by two words. Courage and resolve. Lakas ng loob at buo ang loob sa Tagalog at Pilipino. But what guides and directs courage and resolve? The guidance of the gospel today. Do not give up. Knock, ask, and seek. 
to pray without giving up. And the Lord will give you not only wisdom, not only persistence, not only success. He will give you the Holy Spirit. Whoever asks will receive the Holy Spirit. Ano pa ba naman ang regalong hihingin mo greater than the Holy Spirit? Mayroon po isang writer, pangalan niya Calvin Coolidge. Sabi niya, nothing in the world can take place, can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsex, unsuccessful men who are very talented. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of education, educated derelicts. Persistence or determination alone are omnipotent. Ito talaga ang susi. Hindi yung matalento. Madaming matalent. Nasa bahay lang. Hindi yung matas na pinag-aralan. May pinag-aralan na matas pinag-aralan pero masyado lang bilib sa sarili. Or yung genius, magaling na magaling. But naghahanap sila ng pagkilala ng iba. Naway ito ang ating panalangin sa, sa bawat isa. Kung meron tayong pinagdadaanan sa buhay natin, mag po tayo kagad sumuko. We keep on knocking, we keep on seeking, and we continue to ask in our prayer. May God bless us all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nandun din pala si CJ. CJ ba yun? Magkasusuko ka agad. No? Sean, Sean Lopez, nandiyan din siya. Magkasusuko ka agad. Mga sudyante natin dito. <laughs> Using the argument from the lesser to the greater, Jesus thought that the Heavenly Father is much more generous than any friend or father on earth. Let us ask the Father especially for His greatest gift of all, the very source of all gifts, the Holy Spirit. For every prayer, sasagot po tayo. Father, give us the gift of your Spirit. Tayo po lahat. Father, give us the gift of your Spirit. Lord, send us your Spirit who bears witness with our Spirit that we are children of God and heirs with Christ. We pray. Father, give us the gift of your Spirit. May fathers follow their human instinct in giving good gifts to their children and in protecting them from harm, we pray. Father, give us the gift of your Spirit. May we have friends who are ready to help us even if it is inconvenient to them, we pray. Father, give us the gift of your Spirit. May we ask, seek, and knock with persistence when we need something, and not just wait to be provided by the Lord or by our friend or neighbor, we pray. Father, give us the gift of your Spirit. May we have faith to believe that God answers our prayers in His own way and in His own time. We pray. Father, give us the gift of your Spirit. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Father, you know what we need even before we ask you. But you want us to seek it from you to express our dependence and trust in you. Help us, we pray, and pray with persistence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Bless our you. Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of man It will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Bless
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For to your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us a cup of joy. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, your Son. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And is coming in glory, we await with a wavering hope. And so, with all the choirs of angels and saints, we praise you, and without end, we acclaim. Santo, 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 Pangino. Sana sa kaidaasan, pinagpalang na paririto sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaidaasan, o sana, o sana. Sana sa kaitaasan. Please kneel down. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Please stand. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Archbishop, and all the priests and our friends who serve you, especially here in our church, in our parish at the Holy Cross. Remember our brothers, our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to call God our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we greet each other with the sign of peace. Peace be with you po. Kapayapan po sa inyo lahat. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
When you pass through waters that rage, I am with you. In the rivers you shall not drown. Walk through the fire and it flames will not consume you, for I am come. Be not afraid, I have made you, I have saved you, I have called you, you are mine, you are precious to me. And I love you Be not afraid Be not afraid Even if you wander away from my loving Far away from home you might shrink Still will I seek you and gently Take you with me and bring you back Be not afraid I have made you I have saved you I have called you, you are mine, you are precious to me, and I love you, be not afraid, be not afraid, you will go be for you and level the mountains, give you treasures from out of the dark. Long hidden riches will stream at last from you, for I am God. Be not afraid. I have made you, I have saved you, I have called you, you are mine, you are precious to me, and I love you, be not afraid, be not Let us pray. Almighty God, grant us that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received and celebrated, so that we may be transformed into what we consume. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you your family and your loved ones the father the son and the holy spirit amen persistence determination is what would bring us the grace of god in our life continue to knock continue to seek continue to ask our mass is offered thanks be to god Sing forever of your love, O oh Lord. I will celebrate the wonder of your name. For the word that you speak is a song of forgiveness and a song of gentle mercy and of peace. 